Hello, welcome to Dance Your Colors. In this show, named after the Erasmus project Dance Your Colors, uh, we will have a trip together in the world of dance, which is one of the most ancient forms of expression for the humans uh, and is the main theme of this project. Uh, in fact, together we will uh, explore uh, not only the more conventional way of dances like uh, ballet, contemporary and also hip hop, but we will also take a look at this uh, new and modern technique like uh, dance therapy. Uh, but there will also be space for um, new creation from our participants, our trainers. And uh, we will do that in uh, all the vector. The place that you see uh, all around us is the old Devecte Foundation. Uh, this is uh, quite old, a quite old foundation. It has been founded in 1960 and is the ideal place for projects like this one. Um, as you can see, we are surrounded by uh, nature, uh, by um, also a really calm atmosphere. And we are um, in Omen, which is a small village in the Netherlands, quite quite close to Amsterdam, one hour by train. And this combination of nature and also local community gives the participant the perfect uh, occasion to immerse themselves in the dance. And now with us, we have Camilla, the organizer of the project. Hi, Camilla. Hi, Renzo. Uh, can you tell us the idea behind this project? Yes. So the idea behind the project Dance Your Colors is to create a space and a context for young people to come and explore how to use movement and dance as a tool of connecting to other people and connecting to their authentic self-expression. What is the secret to realize a project like uh, this one, uh, which has a real and concrete impact on the life of people? Mm. I think the secret, one of the secrets is to really have passion and joy when organizing it. That's the one thing. And the other thing is realizing that we as organizers and facilitators are not really the key of it. We are not the pillar of it. We are only here to hold the space for people because I believe that every person has something to share with other people and, and something to teach them. So the whole idea is for people to really give them space so they can come and share with each other and teach from each other and learn and, and trusting that they have so much there to inspire each other. So really seeing how we can more support them and hold space for that instead of coming with our own I idea of how things should be or, or, or shouldn't be. And I think the, the other important thing also about the idea of the project is uh, working with the concept that there is no right or wrong. There is really just authentic expression of people. And, and so our intention is really to create space where people feel safe enough to go beyond these categories of right and wrong and expectations, but really who am I and what is it that I want to express and how can I express it through movement? Because I believe that how we move in the training room or how we move when we dance is also how we move in life. So how is it really that, how can I give myself full permission and allow myself to just move freely without any expectations, without what I, sh what I think, how it should look like or how, how things should be. And uh, why dance? I think, or I feel that dance is one of the main ways of expressing ourselves. Uh, and it really brings authentic joy. So it almost feels like if there are no words uh, how can we connect to other people? How can I connect myself and how can I express myself? But there are no words because with the words very often there are connected labels and interpretations and connotations. So what is there when there are no words and I just can really express myself through movement? We have to talk about uh, all the vector, this foundation and all the nature that it's surrounding it. So what can you tell us about this organization? Well, this organization is a training and volunteering center. And what I really love about it or why I chose it for our project is because it really, I feel that the space is perfect because there's a huge training room. There's a lot of green spaces outside where people can, can organize their own workshops. There's the forest. So it really feels like a little oasis in the middle of the Netherlands. And I feel that to a big extent also the, the objectives of the foundation are really aligned with the objectives of the project, which is really uh, creating space for people to learn, to, to experiment, to cooperate together and to grow. And uh, now uh, for the people that are watching us, 
what can they do if they want to participate in another Dance Your Color or another project like this one? So the first thing they can do is to follow our Facebook page, All the Bechte Foundation, or Instagram, All the Bechte. And uh, the way the, the selection process goes is that we have a partner organization in different European countries. And through these partner organizations, they can actually apply. So the best way to do it is to follow us and then to find out what is the partner organization in their country and then apply through them. And now we thank Camilla for her time, <laughs> thank you. for her um, availability for us. And we uh, move on and we start our journey uh, through the world of dance. And now we will explore uh, what is the activity that the facilitator did to break the ice using dance and movement. So with muscle I can play a bit with the weight. You can share some weight with me. Yeah, you can come to me a bit. also move it like my touch is a bit more mm, it's a bit like massaging yeah, like going a bit more deep with the touch and still breathing and still like feet are active and they move and it's a bit like okay bit yeah I'm here I always do it like layers. So, for example, if I am now dancing with you, I call it dancing because for me, like movement is dance. Yeah, for dancers. So if I'm now, if I show you the way.
No. <laughs> Are we there yet? No. <laughs> Are we there yet? No. <laughs> Are we there yet? Yes. Really? No. <laughs> Going far, far, far away. <laughs> Are we there yet? No. I'm so bored. Well, find a way to entertain yourself. <laughs> ah, five minutes. Can you not be yourself for five minutes? Oh, Sanjiviti, Dakjiviti, please show me a recipe to do brownies with strawberry flavor. <laughs> the fuck? Humans are so stupid nowadays. I'm gonna destroy the humanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the future is broken. Let's summon this place to 20 years back. Shaman. <laughs>
This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend, the end of our elaborate plans, the end of everything that stands, the end, no safety or surprise, the end, I'll never look again. And now, um, as you can see behind me, there is a painting, a very famous one. This is uh, The Dance Class by Degas. And because we are about to speak um, about ballet, uh, which is one of the most famous uh, dance style uh, in the world. Uh, and we will do that with uh, Eva Deleva, our uh, ballet teacher. I want to thank the people who are standing in front of us, like our teacher, and also the teacher thank the people who are watching and who, who will take the class. So we're, we're starting with, in this position. as much as possible, you will free, feel stretch here, yeah, exactly. And you're staying for 10 seconds. One, two, three. One, hold, 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 hold. Oh, perfect. Hold, hold, hold. Hold your arms and stretch. Perfect. Just in front of your fingers, yeah, uh, in, in, in line with the toes. And it's absolutely in the same line, everything. It's like sandwich, yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. This is our shoulders. They need to be in line. So we don't, we actually, it's almost, I don't know, impossible to do this, but uh, you need to pay attention about this thing. You need to hold your stomach, stomach, like in with your butt, too. You imagine this, stomach and butt are in, and your breast, and your shoulders are like out. What is going on now? Our fingers just hoop. Yeah, this is the second position. Now try to go up, 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 up. And this is third position. Try to do a little bit down, 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 down. Perfect. This is demi plie. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Hold in the most uncomfortable position.
And now uh, we will do something a little bit different. Uh, we will start working on some psychological element, on some uh, impact uh, of this new discipline, the dance therapy can have uh, only people. And uh, we will do that with uh, um, our psychologist, Mariola. but not a yeah. proper community. So coming here uh, sometimes and, and yeah, this kind of uh, open frame we have, like in the projects, you know, yeah. is kind of how does a community build up itself. And today when we were trying to, to like set like a schedule or something, mm. it was kind of, mm, it would be easier to have like kind of a hierarchy, you know, hierarchy. Yeah, yeah. And you say, but this is not, that's not a community. I mean, in a community, each one have their own task. We all find a way to balance each one inside it, and to find this inner peace. I mean, inner silence. Inner means, silence. Exactly. Inner and once silence. you you go to it, you are ready to listen to the others. And now our journey in the world of dance is going a few years forward. We are going to explore the world of hip hop with our friend Gloria. And now we 
take a break from our journey in the world of dance uh, to do something a little bit different. Uh, we will have a journey in the world of intestinal problems. What the fruit cake is going wrong? Rent, are you... What? The... Are you flaming again? You too? Really? You should stop, both of you. Ah. What did you do in this Erasmus project? Oh, we were recording poems in the toilet. Blissful, lazy oceans. Hitting my face. A caress from wind. Sand between my toes. You're a deceptive hint. Watercolored eyes. Squint. Life with no one around. I feel empty inside, waiting for you to come. Oh, my dearest love, you're trembling alone, sorrows in my heart, whispering your name. I can find a light, looking at the sky with you. Let's breathe, silently. Camino sin camino. La música de tu nombre baila en mi memoria. De la grieta nace el desafío de vivir sin ti. Ahogar el grito para aprender a escuchar otra parte de mí. El olor de la nostalgia que tienen todos los rincones donde llega el sol. La brisa que mueve el recuerdo para que lo abenique el árbol donde nos dejamos hasta la sed. No existe ningún antes ni ningún después. Quedarme perdida en el aire o quizá en el desorden que rebriste al cerrar nuestra historia. ¿Cerrar? ¿De veras pudiste esconderla? ¿Acaso hay solo silencio? Sin tu ropa he visto mis días, sacando a pasear a mi corazón, para recordar cómo se besaba. Tal vez solo quede reagrupar los trozos de lo que quedó roto por tus ausencias, mojado por tu abandono, vacío por tu silencio, blanco como el presente, incierto como el mapa de tu cuerpo, y de ese amasijo entre lágrimas y escombros del mundo que juntos construimos, Quizá rescate la intimidad de mis verdades, al medio camino entre lo que quiero ser y soy.
This was our last report, our journey in the world of dance ends here. But there is more material coming your way. There are uh, the movies realized by our participants. Uh, but we hope that all the things that you saw today uh, will let you keep the movement and the dance going on.